And they've done studies where, for example, um, you know, one hour of iPad reading versus just one hour of reading on a book, you know, in dim light. And when you wake up the next morning, you don't feel as refreshed or restored by your sleep. Those studies have been done too. Wow. What should someone do um, if they have a hard time sleeping? Like say if you're a person who has insomnia, you have a hard time getting... getting We've spoken about light. For example, when you, in the last hour before bed, try to stay away from screens, but also just switch off half the lights in the house. Mm. You'd be surprised at how soporific that is. It really starts to sort of make you feel a bit more drowsy. They've done some great studies where they would take people out, you know, into the Rockies, no electric light, no electricity whatsoever. And they started to go to bed two hours earlier than their acclaimed natural bedtime. Mm. It wasn't just because they didn't have anything necessarily to do. It was that their melatonin was rising, you know, two hours earlier. 